Hello there. Today we are going to be playing with ChatGPT and Adobe After Effects. Please be aware that this technology is causing a little bit of harm to the environment, so use it uh, at the bare minimum. And But yeah, we're going to have fun with it. Kinetic Type Series. So, you need to go to chatgpt.com and here you don't need an account or anything. I click here and stay logged out and it is a matter of start typing here and the mm, key thing about the phrase is like you need to type create an expression okay for after effects and this thing is very very clever he knows uh, or she knows what what's going on here and I want to do something like it's connecting position speed to another attribute of another layer so connects one value to the speed of the position on another layer and let's see if that's that's enough for this to, to, to create something that works we click here in this arrow and now this thing is thinking and it's it's a speed as f uh, uh yeah so this is kind of amazing because you know i've been always like a a dumb guy for all really all things related to expressions but with this uh if you start like writing mm, the right prompt this thing really uh, works okay so here it is and you have some explanation and obviously some some aspects of this uh, should be changed like the name of the layer but let's go directly uh, rotation value okay mm -hmm. okay let's copy this and in after effects you're going to see that i have uh, this circle that i want to be affected by this trigger so i'm going to create a position animation just something very simple it goes to one side and it goes to the other side and then here for example i copy this keyframe i paste it here and i make them easy ease with this button here in the graph editor and for example let's go to edit speed graph and make this uh, easiness more extreme let's close it and i have something here to work with like this trigger layer it's it has this animation and now i'm going to paste here in the rotation that expression but the thing is that this is a circle so i'm going to create a rectangle on top and i'm going to disable the ellipse so that i can see the rotation so if i go back to chat gpt uh, i copy the code i have here even like a button and i go to After Effects and let's go again back I need to read like the yeah the instructions here so yeah it seems like I need to paste it on the rotation so it is a matter of uh, opening here in transform the transform properties and I click here in rotation while I'm holding down on alt or option on a Mac to create to have this option to introduce here code or an expression and I paste it there. So now obviously I have this sign here that indicates that something is wrong but if I click on this text I need to obviously change the name to the name of the actual layer here which is trigger and let's see if now this disappears okay yeah now it seems to be working and let's play it and see if that's working for me and it really is you know like it in the specific time or moment where this is very speedy or very quick it looks like <laughs> the rotation is going uh, really quicker so now for example I'm going to try I'm going to get rid of this expression here just by clicking and erasing it and I want to do something that I feel is very cool which is like I want to 
this expression that is driven by the speed of this ball here it's going to affect I want it to affect like a blur for example a blur effect so I'm coming here and I'm going to apply a fast blur this guy here and now I'm going to reformulate it a little bit and now I'm going to say create an expression in After Effects that drives the amount of blur by the speed of the position of another layer. And let's say that works, okay? We click here on the arrow and this is amazing. Do, 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 do. Gaussian blur, okay, we can change that by the fast blur. Uh, it seems like, yeah, this can work for sure. I'm going to copy the code. And again here you see target layer, That's that should be changed. So I come here and in blur radius I'm going to click while holding on Alt or Option on a Mac, Beam, to open this box and I'm going to paste it. Obviously I have again this warning here, but we can fix that just by putting here the right name. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay. That works, but the thing is that when it this is super super quick here in the middle, it's too much uh, of a blur. So if I go down, I can divide it by 10, for example, and that's going to make it less extreme. Let's go back uh, to ChatGPT, and again, please be aware that this this thing is kind of uh, it makes some harm to environment, but yeah, uh, I'm using it at the bare minimum. So let's go back again. And it is a matter the um, magic phrase is create an expression for Adobe. He knows that it's Adobe <laughs> After Effects. That, and then you try to explain this thing like in the most accurate manner what you want to achieve again have some fun with this and for example i used this uh, this way of working for this animation here here i i created an expression with delay on the position uh, with the help of chat gpt if you were a, a guy or a girl like me <laughs> and you were always afraid of expressions you should not be anymore. So I hope this helped you uh, and see you in the next one. Connect, Connect series. series.